there, Alicia Willoughby here, orthopedic and women's health physical therapist, and I am here to give you another bathroom tip. So are you pushing to pee? Now I know a lot of us are really busy and having to go to the bathroom can sometimes be an inconvenience and we don't have time and our kids are crying or yelling at us or they need something or they're right there with you. But if you are pushing to get all of your pee out in order to rush, it's really important that you stop doing this habit. So there's a really delicate balance between our pelvic floor and our bladder and our brain. What should happen when you sit down to go to the bathroom is that you relax your pelvic floor and at the bottom of your pelvis. This sends a signal to your brain that it's time to go to the bathroom and then your bladder contracts in order to urinate. If you are pushing, in order to get the urine out quicker, you are interrupting this really delicate balance by contracting your pelvic floor and contracting your abdominals. This is putting downward pressure down onto your pelvic floor and your organs. There are some things that can happen if you continue to do this habit. One, you are pushing down, so you are taking that pelvic floor and loading it over and over again, which can either mean that your pelvic floor becomes lengthened and weakened, and then you might have symptoms like leaking urine, or um, prolapse, so you're pushing your organs down onto a weakened pelvic floor. Another thing that can happen is because you're pushing down and increasing pressure onto your pelvic floor in order to urinate, your pelvic floor might do the opposite and respond by contracting up and lifting up against that pressure. And this will also set you up for some pelvic floor dysfunction on the other end of the spectrum by having a pelvic floor that is too tight or overactive. And this can give you symptoms of pelvic floor pain, pain with urination, pain with sex, and a lot of other um, symptoms that go along with that pelvic floor dysfunction. So the healthiest thing to do when you need to go to the bathroom is to sit down on the toilet, take some nice deep breaths, and just trust that your body is going to do what it needs to do, and let that beautiful balance between your pelvic floor and your brain, your bladder, do its job, and just take that moment to really rest there. Now, if you have to push, in order to start the flow of urine, that's, that's something different. And if that's you, then you need to talk to your doctor about it and hopefully get a referral um, to pelvic health physical therapy because there might be something else going on um, there if you have to push. But for those of you that are pushing in order to rush, just take the bathroom time to take some deep breaths and relax and your pelvic floor will really thank you. All right? If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks.